The following is a paid program. Opinions and views expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of this station. Season three. We're on season three already? This is for season three. Oh my right god. Where did the first two seasons go? I don't know. Did we start at three? Who edited that? Who edited that stuff? I don't know. Carbone GMC Chevrolet presents Off the Beaten Path. Closed captioning for Off the Beaten Path is brought to you by Oneida Electrical Contractors, Horatio Street, Utica, New York, OneidaElectric.com, a veteran-owned company. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Off the Beaten Path, brought to you by Carbone GMC Chevrolet. Ian, where are we headed this week? This week we're going to stay with a dynamic duo of Stephen Williams and Shane Carrick as they're out chasing turkeys around Madison County. After a low shot, they've got their sights on getting back on this bird later in this week. Roosted these birds last night in the storm. Had a good idea where to set up.
few soft calls from Shane in the morning with a goose man call. Bird flew right down in our lap. It did put on a good show for a couple minutes for us. Got my first bird of the season. Be sure to join our Off the Beaten Path Facebook page where you can share your photos and view our current events and highlights. When performance counts, count on Heart Rifle Barrels. HeartBarrels.com have you been lucky enough to harvest a big whitetail or big bear in New York State? Then you need to look at the New York State Big Buck Club, the official record book for New York State's biggest and best whitetails and New York State trophy record bears. Log on to the website where you can locate your local measurer, order record books, and then swing over their Facebook page where you can locate past stories on previous hunts. So log on to NewYorkStateBigBuckClub.com. Carbone Chevrolet GMC, Commercial Drive, Yorkville, New York, CarboneGM.com. Off the Beaten Path is supported by Black Gold Premium Bow Sights, Ripcord Arrow Rest, Bow Guru Bow Strings, Ramcat Broadheads. This segment of Paving the Way for Youth in the Outdoors is brought to you by our friends at Central Paving, Frankfurt, New York. Let's join youth turkey hunter Laura Van Hoven as she's hunting in Madison County on the Youth Turkey Weekend. After a quick relocation, they located some more birds. As luck would have it, the toms decided to move over the hill out of sight. But then we had some hens move in, and there's nothing better than having some live decoys move in on your setup. This will draw those big toms right back in.
Well, this morning we had a couple jakes come down and they read the script, they came right into the decoys and unfortunately I think they were just a little too close and we had a little bit of a miss. So we regrouped and uh, came up to one of our other leases and spotted these birds up in the field. So we ended up working around them and a couple calls with a goose man call and these guys were gobbling their heads off. So he came right in and Laura made a great shot about 20 yards and tipped them right over. So great start to our turkey season, 2017 youth hunt. Did you have fun? Yeah. All right, good job. Their first setup that morning drew out this lone bird. After getting repositioned, they tried a little tag team calling with Shane on the goose man calls and Steve doing a fake gobble call and see how the results came out. on this thing. Well, the turkey guys are definitely looking down on us today. This is our uh, second big tom. Called one in this morning for Steven down on our other lease and he shot a real good tom. We came up here to our other lease and uh, kind of did a little bit of walking and calling and got this one fired up. So we uh, got set up and kind of hung out for a little bit and Gave them some soft yelps with the goose man calls, and it's just not fair with those calls of this turkeys. They uh, they can't resist it. So he came in, and uh, we realized that this is a bird we've been chasing for the last couple years. He's a big double bearded bird, and uh, it's nice to finally seal the deal with him and uh, end a good chapter. So first bird in New York is a good one. I don't know how I'm gonna top this, but the Big I Buck Profile is brought to you by the New York State Big Buck Club. Okay, here we are with another buck being entered in the uh, New York State Big Buck Club book. And uh, we're here with Don. Don, thanks for stopping by. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your deer. Uh, how many inches, what county, and what weapon? Uh, Seneca County, shot with a gun, shotgun, before rifle season was open. Nice. Uh, scored 142 at 7 eighths. Uh, that was the net. It was grossed out at 147 almost. Beautiful deer. Um, shot it on a Wednesday night in the same area where I shot one two years before that, that I entered in the big buck club and made it. So two years in a row. Well, you're big time. You got two big, bucks in I there. got two Good bucks in you. the club, and I shot them both out of the same tree stand. Where's that? <laughs> Seneca County. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Beautiful story. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. To learn more about the New York State Big Buck Club or to order your own record book, go to NewYorkStateBigBuckClub.com. And a big thanks goes to Goose Man Game Calls, Hunt em All, Sutton's Taxidermy, Central Square, New York, PSE Archery, and Slay Odor Neutralizer. Stewards of the land need New Holland, and for New Holland, Clinton Tractor and Implement Company. The Caldona Family, Clinton, New York. The 
The Gunworks of Central New York, Verona, New York. Winter weather can do some serious damage to your truck. Make sure you get yourself covered with Boulevard Trailers. Boulevard Trailers has a variety of truck caps and tonneau covers that will make your truck stand out above the rest. At Boulevard Trailers, you will receive the most knowledgeable and trustworthy information for all your sales and service needs. Boulevard Trailers, to a risky Boulevard, Whitesboro, New York. Call today or visit BoulevardTrailers.com. Bow hunting requires getting in close, and controlling human scent can often be the difference between success yeah. or failure. So don't cover human odor, eliminate it with Slay. Slay's scientific formula kills the bacteria that causes odor and keeps working all hunt long. This new Slay Proline kit comes with everything you need to neutralize and eliminate human odor. Log on to slaythegame.com now and learn how Slay can get you back in the game. So don't cover human odor, eliminate it with Slay. Join us this year at the Big East Camping and Outdoor Sports Show, March 23rd through the 25th, 2018. BigEastShows.com. Registration is now open for vendors. Well, this has been the year of doubles. Uh, we got our first set of birds uh, the second day of the season, a couple hours apart. And today, we pulled off one heck of a double. Uh, we spotted these birds after a long morning of no gobbles and rough morning. We spotted these birds out in the field and we made a pretty long sneak down around a big creek bed and we were able to pop up into this cut cornfield. And these goose man calls called these birds close to 600 yards and brought them right into our laps. So this makes us tagged out and a heck of a year for us. For your next adventure, visit our friends at Eastern Canadian Outfitters in Quebec, Black River Valley Outfitters, Carthage, New York. 
Urban Buckeye Outfitters, Ohio, Okeechobee Outfitters, Laredo, Florida, Upland and Antler Kennels, Corning, New York, and Real Intense Fishing, West Palm Beach, Florida. Let the experts at Oneida Electrical Contractors get your job done right. Carbon Chevrolet GMC, Commercial Drive, Yorkville, New York, CarboneGM.com. The Thousand Islands leader for non-ethanol gas and regular gas is your one-stop shop Victorian Convenience Center. Swing into their convenience store and pick up some chips, snacks, beer, or soda, or whatever else you might need. They've got it all. If in the mood for a little something extra, stop by their attached subway shop. Grab yourself a six inch or a foot long. Need to catch up on some laundry after that extra long stay? Just visit their attached laundromat as well. The Victorian Convenience Center, 905 James Street, Clayton, New York. Head on over to the Off the Beaten Path website where you can learn more about us, view our previous episodes, and learn more about our partners and our preferred outfitters. Don't try this at home. Joe and Steve are professionals in a controlled setting. Again, don't try this at home. We go on a few weeks before the season, up to a month, and Screw some cardboard on some empty tires, no rims. Roll them down the hill here and shoot at them. A lot of times when you're tracking, still hunting in the woods, you get a running shot. Even if it's a finishing shot or a second shot, you want to be able to hit them. And uh, by doing this, we get real comfortable with our guns. There you go, Steve, get him, get him! <laughs> Looks like we got it four times, twice in the center, once here and once on the edge. Anything in the black tire doesn't count. We'll see how Joe does next. Roll that 10 pointer, Steve. I really don't think I hit it much, but I'm so much happier with the way the action was. That's why we practice. For more information on Adirondack Trackers, visit their website, adirondacktrackers.com. This cooking segment is brought to you by Tailwater Lodge on the famous Salmon River in Altmar, New York. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Chef John at Tailwater Lodge. Today again I have some wild turkey that I'm cooking. I'm gonna make it a little differently, like a kind of a southern style dish with a red-eye gravy that I'm making with chorizo. Red-eye gravy is from the, they add actually uh, coffee to it to deglaze instead of using wine. And uh, I'm gonna make some cream corn, some mashed potatoes, and uh, some homemade hush puppies. So as always, I start off, I'm, I got some really thin turkey cuts here. We call this paillard, when you cut it really thin like this. And I'm just patting it dry because I don't want that moisture. And then build the, the gravy and all the other ingredients from there. Got a nice hot pan. Again, I, I always I always take it away when I'm putting stuff in the pan because I don't want it to flame up and catch fire. But you always want to hear that sound. Okay, they're about 90% cooked, and that's really all I want because it's gonna it's gonna cook a little more sitting there, and I don't want it 
Turkey tends to dry out a lot more than any other poultry, though. Even though it browns nicely, it will dry out on you. Just a little bit of oil. And I have some raw, beautiful chorizo sausage that I've cut up. There we go. All right. Ingredient. And this is just some coffee. And that's the main ingredient, red-eye gravy, besides the pork. Bacon or ham. Here's a little bit of turkey stock that I reduced down. Okay, and I just, just to round out the richness a little bit, I will add just a touch of cream. Just a touch. Again, it's not a cream sauce and it's not a sauce sauce, it's a gravy. And I have this that little chopped basil that I put with creamed corn. I just reduced down some cream with a little onion, garlic, a splash of sugar, especially when it's in season. Just a little bit of that, just so it's nice and tight. I made these, all right, heat off, there we go. Made these little hush puppies. Now this is just some, some orange honey cornbread that I just added a little bit of egg to and rolled them up and deep fried them. Here's some mashed potatoes. And my whole plan is to just dump this gravy all over everything. That's just the way to do it, in my opinion. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It, it kind of lends itself to all the things we're looking at here. Looks like I got too small of a plate, huh? All right, that's a lot of food, so I'm only gonna put a couple pieces of gravy on there. So we're dumping this chorizo all over it. Beautiful, wild turkey with chorizo, red-eye gravy, and cornbread hush puppies. are still perfectly bright. Be the last one out of the woods at night. Get a black gold sight. PSE Archery has always dominated the speed category. Now, the most revolutionary cam system ever to hit the market has perfected the shooting experience. Introducing PSE's Evolve Cam System, featuring extremely high let-off capabilities and the smoothest draw cycle in history. No other cam system has ever delivered this level of total comfort and total control. Experience PSE. Experience performance. The proceeding is a paid program of Off the Beaten Path Media.